hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you very much for joining me here i'll be going through another set of multiple choice questions for you so please stay tuned i hope you're subscribed you're commenting you're sharing my videos so these students can pass their exam with additional help so the first one comes towards some um, commission it says a salesman is paid six percent of his sales as commission his sales for last month was five thousand and eighty dollars what amount of money was he paid as a commission so having this guys we know that commission is equal to x percent of the total sales all right and six percent would be the rate of the commission that he's getting and the total sale is $5,080. I'm going to use C here. So C is equal to 6 over 100 times 5,080. I'm going to go ahead and simplify here. Where I say 100 into 100 goes 1. 100 into 50, 80. You know, move two decimal places. It's going to be 50.8. Hope you can see that. And I'm going to be multiplying that by 6. So 6, 8, 48, 6, 0, 0, and 4, um, bring down the 4, 6, 5, 30. And we have one decimal place. And so we're going to be 3 or 4. But because it's money, it's 80 cents. And so 3 or 4, 80 cents is our answer. So given that x equal negative 4, what is the value of 3x squared plus x minus 5? So we know x is negative 4. So anyway, see x here, we're going to put negative 4 for the answer. So negative 4 times a uh, positive times a negative is a negative. So negative 4, negative 5 is a negative 9. All right. Negative 4, four squared means 16. And 16 times 3 should give you 48. And so 48 minus 9 will give you 39. And so D here is our answer. I hope this was useful to you guys. If you need additional help with this, please let me know and I'll be happy to assist you. Let's go for the next question. The transformation maps the point P to 3 onto P prime negative 2, negative 3. The transformation is a? Say, so is it a reflection in the x-axis? So remember, if I should draw my small Cartesian here with 2 and 3, 2, 3 be somewhere here. If it reflected in the x-axis, it would be coming down here where the 2 will still be positive and the 3 will be negative. So we know that's not the answer. In the y-axis, let's try that one. So this is the y-axis, the vertical line. And so if we should reflect this over here, the 2 will be negative, but the 3 will be positive. And so we know that is not the answer. Is it a glide reflection in the line y equal x? No, it is not a glide reflection. Because glide reflection is basically um, a reflection plus a translation. And that's not it. And so we know if you should rotate this at an angle of 180, which is basically a straight line of 180, you will get the answer over the point over here, which will be negative 2 negative 3 and so we know it's a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin one more thing guys if you know the um the matrix to use you can go ahead and use the matrix and that will also help you all right so the next question says a van runs 180 kilometers on 18 liters of petrol what distance would it run on 45 liters of petrol so we know that on 18 liters of petrol, he went 180 kilometers. All right? So if you want to know how much he runs on one liter of petrol, you can go ahead and find that by saying 180 divided by 18. How did I get that? You go ahead and you cross multiply. 18 times x, 1 times 80, 180, and then you divide and you get the answer. So we know that for one liter, of petrol, he went 10 kilometers. All right. And so to go 45, um, for 45 liters of petrol, how many kilometers would this person go? So 45 liters of petrol 
how many kilometers would this person um be able to travel go ahead again do a cross multiplication 45 times 10 will give you 450 kilometers all right if you don't understand this question please leave me a comment in the comment section below and again i'll be happy to assist you let's move on to the next one so the vector a b maps onto the point p 4 7 4 7 onto p prime 3 4 so right here we are asked to state the vector a b all right so to get the vector a b from here we know that object plus translation is equal to image all right so we know the object is p and we know the image is p prime so to get the translation vector you're gonna say image minus the object which will be the image is 3 4 and the object is 4 7 so let's go let's simplify from here 3 4 4 7 so it's 3 minus 4 is a negative 1 4 subtract 7 is a negative 3 and so the translation vector here is a negative 1 a negative 3 and the answer is at a negative 1 negative 3 the next question comes to us from angles where they say the triangle abc has magnitude of x what that in the triangle abc the magnitude of x is so right here we see it's an isosceles triangle where base angles are equal they gave us one angle to be 40 degrees and so we know the angle on the opposite side will also be or say let's say the other base will also be 40 degrees so if you're having these two angles as 40 and 40 angles in a triangle equal to 180 degrees so if you should add these two 40 plus 40 to give you 80 and 180 minus 80 will give you an angle of 100 degrees and so guys that's the end of this video if you have any question please leave it in the comment section below remember to like share comment subscribe and tell a friend about me let them come and learn something as you know i have a lot to offer and i'm willing to help you reach out to me on instagram in my email or even in the comment section and you know i always respond to you so i'll see you on the next one